right, friends, it's llama time. So we're gonna do this llama, and you get to think ahead here about how you want to accessorize your llama. So here we go. I drew mine in pencil again. I cheated a little bit, sorry, but you know, this whole YouTube thing, I'm old and it takes me a long time to do things. So if you wanna draw in pencil while I'm drawing a marker, that's what I would recommend. If you don't have a Sharpie to trace over your pencil lines, a black crayon will work or a black oil pastel if you have that. So we're gonna start in the middle here with the nose and this is just a heart. I'm using a piece of printer paper and you can use whatever kind of paper you have at home. We talked about this um, in the pug video. If you didn't watch that one, that's okay. You can use notebook paper, a cut up envelope, um, a paper plate, the back of a magazine, anything you've got hanging around. So you've got your heart right in the middle of your paper. I'm gonna start a straight line down from the point of the heart and you're making a slight smile under that. That's kind of the llama's lip and this U shape underneath that line. The next thing I go for are the eyes. I start with an upside down letter U. Some people like to refer to that as the N without the straight line, but I think it's just easier to say an upside down letter U. They're on either side of the heart, and if you put a slight smile underneath, curved line, finishes off the bottom of the eyes. A half circle here, half circle there. And I like to put the little bubbles in here, the little reflections in the pupil. Down here is the chinny chin chin. It's a big old letter U. The next thing I like to do is the hair. Nice little crop of hair. So you can kind of see take a look at how much paper you have left above the eyes. If you've got a lot of paper, you're good to go. You'll be able to fit your ears in there. If your ears go off the paper, no big deal. I am going to give crop of hair. So these are just kind of V's on their side, little V's, longer V's. Really no way to describe these. There's your hair. When you're making the ear, you're gonna make it look like you're going behind the hair. So you're gonna take that up to the edge of your paper. Unless you have a lot of space, then you're gonna bring it up to a, into a point, like the top of a triangle. And you're gonna go around the edge. I like to bring a double line in on the inside to kind of make the inside of the ear. Same thing on the other side. Line up to the top of your paper. If you've got room to bring that to a point, good for you. I did not have enough. And this line up here. Llamas kind of have skinnier, long ears. So if your ears kind of turn out a little plump, you might want to skinify them. Make them a little bit taller. Okay, so we've got ears. And now we need the side fur. So just bring it down, give it a little V, bring it down, give it a little V, take it to the bottom of your paper. On the other side of the ear, same thing. Bring that pencil stroke down, little V, little V, and boom, shakalaka. Now you've gotta put some details. If you want your llama to have eyelashes, if you want your llama to have a unicorn horn, you can add a unicorn horn. I'm gonna give my llama a necklace, but I'm gonna decorate it with crayons in the next step. Whatever you wanna do. You can give your glasses, sunglasses, a mustache. Possibilities are endless. If you trace with a crayon, you won't be able to probably get in close here with an eraser without smearing your crayon, but if you have a black Sharpie, then you can come back in and erase those pencil lines that you might have missed. Clean it up. And now you're ready to color. You can illustrate this guy with whatever you've got. I'm gonna show you a neat marker trick, another marker trick, and then I'm gonna finish it up. So my marker trick 
is just using regular Crayola markers. If you have only permanent markers, this won't work, but if you have Mr. Sketch markers, um, Rose Art markers, Crazy Art markers, those will all be fine for this part. So you can use whatever color you want. And if you outline the shape that you want to color in, you can bring a brush with just water on it, clean water, and turn that into watercolor. Cool, right? Let me do it one more time. Let's see. Let's do the crop of hair. I'm going to keep it purple. So I'm just outlining right beside my Sharpie line. Now if you're tracing your black line with a watercolor marker, like a Crayola marker, just beware that it's going to run. Okay, I got my water. And if you're using a lot of colors for this, you'll want to rinse your brush between the colors. That way you don't make mud. Unless you want to make mud. So this is kind of a cool way to watercolor without making the watercolor marker jars like we did earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna work on coloring this in. If you wanna put some nifty stuff in the background, you can, you can do some rainbows, some clouds, do some hearts. I like to put music notes, maybe your llama's jamming. Get a rainbow in there. Use your imagination, whatever kind of decorations you want to add. Get them in there. Okay. All right. I'm going to color this guy in and I'll see you for the next video. All right, guys, and that's a wrap. Bye.